While Stellantis just absolutely smashed General Motors and Ford with deliveries, profit, and revenue in the first quarter of this year, now it's time to talk about what they're doing in Canada, which is pretty damn impressive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to have you. Great to see you all. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the new subscribers and welcome back, everyone else. Stellantis plans to invest billions in Canadian factories, which kind of makes a lot of sense if you think about this from a practical point of view. Probably sounds crazy, right? Canada freezing up there. I mean, really? Not really that many people when you think about, you know, the US has 330 million. A lot more people in the US. Why Canada? Well, I'll tell you what I think in a minute. Stellantis has announced a 3.6 billion Canadian investment to convert its Windsor and Brampton assembly plants in the Canadian province of Ontario to manufacture EVs and to expand its automotive research and development center in Windsor. The ARDC will also become Stellantis's first battery lab in North America. Yes, Canada is part of North America. In March, Stellantis unveiled plans with LG Energy Solutions to build a large EV battery manufacturing facility in Windsor. The battery cells produced there could thus be processed directly in the region. The ARDC will create 650 highly skilled engineering positions in a variety of fields to research e-mobility tech. So you can see the picture starting to come together here, right? The investment of the equivalent of 2.7 billion euros in the Canadian plants is part of the Dare Forward 2030 strategy of the American European Group. At the Windsor plant, the current production portfolio is to be expanded in 2023 to include a completely new flexible multi-energy vehicle architecture. As far as I'm aware, the new Ram electric pickup truck will be built on that architecture. Stellantis has not given any details in their press release. However, the group had announced that it would focus primarily on the all-electric STLA platforms. Windsor then seems to become one of the plants where internal combustion engines will still come off the production line in future. If that's the case, big mistake in my view. Here's what Stellantis said. The plant will have maximum flexibility to adjust production volumes as needed to meet changing market demand over the next decade. Brampton Assembly is expected to build at least one all new electric model though. And this platform is expected to be flexible, but Stellantis does not mention the multi-energy designation here. So it could be one of the STLA platforms which is primarily based on building EVs, right? This conversion will begin in 2024 with production starting up again in 2025. With this investment, Delantis expects better utilization of their plants. Both production facilities are expected to be returned to three shift operation according to this announcement. These investments reaffirm our long-term commitment to Canada and represent an important step as we move toward zero emission vehicles that deliver on our customer's desire for innovative, clean, safe, and affordable mobility, said Mark Stewart, Chief Operating Officer of Stellantis North America. Today's deal on Made in Canada EVs is yet another investment in our workers and in our future, said Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who was also present at the event at ARDC. We're building a world-class Canadian auto industry, an innovative economy and a clean, strong future for everyone. This is what a healthy environment and a healthy economy looks like. Now, personally, I think a healthy environment in Canada would look like Justin Trudeau being fired from his position, um, because he should be. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. Maybe you disagree. If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Solantis is not the only major corporation, though, converting to e-mobility manufacturing in Canada. GM plans to start manufacturing its new Bright Drop brand of EVs in Ingersoll in December. GM is also converting its plant in Oshawa, also in the province of Ontario, for the production of light electric pickup trucks. And 
supplier Magna is building battery cases for Ford's F-150 in Ontario. So good news here for Canada, good news for electric cars, good news for everyone. I mean, this is one thing I find interesting, right? Canada doesn't produce lithium currently, but it has huge quantities of hard rock, spodumene deposits, and brine-based lithium resources. These are based in the Canadian Precambrian Shield. And technically, Canada has 2.5% of the world's global lithium reserves. But they do also have a share of the world's nickel, copper, manganese, graphite, and rare earths. A lot less than China, but some. Now, currently, there are no lithium iron manufacturers in China. But clearly, there will be soon with LG Chem building this battery factory with Stellantis, which I think is fantastic news. Also, I mean, it makes sense. You have a battery plant, then you have a car production facility in Dubai. To be, able to, hand, to be able to have those close to each other just makes complete logical sense. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it's a good move from Stellantis and also, of course, GM to build EVs in Canada as well? Personally, I think it's great news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next one.